Welcome to Old Classic Car and this collection of 50 photographs featuring classic ice cream vans and mobile catering van conversions. And we begin with a wonderful old Morris J-type based ice cream van from the 1950s. This one in the livery of Ficino's Ice Cream. Ice cream for everyone. Next up, another Morris J-Type, but I think this is actually the same van, but a few years earlier, here, in the livery of Ross's Traditional Ices. There's an Anglia ice cream van alongside for walls. Next up, a Citroen H van. This one has been converted into a mobile coffee van, as so many have now. This intriguing little three-wheeler is a ice cream delivery vehicle. With uh, motorcycle, Villiers engine power there, D and J Giannadria. YSJ410, this is a Morris PV based ice cream van from 1949. This was down at the Goodwood Revival several years ago now. As was this magnificent Rolls Royce, BLE718, 1935 Rolls Royce, uh, in the livery of Walls Ice Cream. Trio of food vans here. The first two at least are all commas. Possibly the third one is as well. Coffee, fish and chips and burgers and bacon. Mm -hmm. Here we have a three vehicles in the Whitby Morrison of crew in their own private collection. This is a Thames 307 E based Walls ice cream van. Next up, a Peterbilt. This is a replica of the lorry that featured in the film Jewel in the 1970s. This one has been built into a catering vehicle. Fantastic bit of kit. And here's another Citroen H van. This was down at Race Retro a few years back. Another coffee conversion by the look of it. Here on view in crew a couple of years ago, this is a Bedford CF2 based ice cream van for Mr. Softy, freshly made just for you. And the J0571, this is a 1962 Bedford CA ice cream van, Beach Dean Farmhouse Dairy Ice Cream. Very nice indeed. A tea, coffee and snacks van here. This is based on the Fordson 7V. This was at Bista Heritage a few years ago, RSJ195. 7Vs were built either side of World War II. Here's another Whitby Morrison vehicle based on the mini pickup, Jane's Dairy Ice Cream. X registration, so late 1970s, beginning of the early 80s. To Prescott Hill Climb and another Citroen H van. Very popular, these corrugated vans with the coffee vending companies. Another race retro and a Bedford, a pre-war Bedford based vehicle this time. Uh, very smart indeed. I can see a bottle of Champers there in the window. And to Thames again, another Thames 307 based ice cream van. Stop me and buy one. Again, Walls livery on there with a standard Anglia alongside. And this was just a couple of weeks ago at the Alton Park Gold Cup. A wonderful old Commerce 789 XUE from 1960. Mrs Whippy. One of the infamous Batman look-alike uh, mini-based ice cream vans here, the Batman Special. Great little thing, fiberglass roof there. Back to Alton Park again and another Citroen H van. They get everywhere, these do. This is from 1972 and it's called Harry and sells hot dogs. This is quite a famous well-known vehicle on the uh, quayside at Whitby. Uh, MBT984F is a Series 2A Land Rover ice cream van. And there's another Mr. Whippy this time, freshly whipped creamy soft ice cream based on a Bedford CF Mark 1. A comma, or rather a carrier, fire engine, this one PRX60 from 1958 has been converted into a mobile pizza oven. So now the fire is on the inside rather than outside. That's followed by another, yet another Citroen H van, a long wheelbase version here. A side view of a wonderful wartime Austin K2 based mobile canteen, operated by the WVS. Here is a Peugeot J7 catering vehicle, continuing with this uh, small collection of photographs featuring ice cream vans and catering conversions 
this is a lovely little trailer i think this was in york uh, a couple of years back uh, i can see a ford pop axle under it there the wheels are a bit of a giveaway um, probably dates to the 1950s i would have thought this was in porto uh, a very popular choice these three wheeler little piaggio apes i think they're called Another H van, standard wheelbase this time, P registration, so early 1970s. This one's serving Prosecco. Very nice too. Here we have a Diamond T, 787XUR. This is a Diamond T lorry from 1947. Again, like the Peterbilt that belongs to the same owner, converted into mobile catering. He owns this too, KS145. This is an American La France from 1949 ex Iowa Falls fire truck. Had to have one of these somewhere. Polly's Parlor. This is a split window Volkswagen, of course. This was quite a few years ago now. 3315 NA. This is a 1960 Morris, entirely coach built, ice cream van. Uh, where is it now? I haven't seen that for a long time. And to RAF Museum at Cosford, they've got an H van in there, or at least they used to, uh, serving various snacks and drinks. A few aircraft in the background there. And the side view now of an Austin or Morris FG, and this is a mobile fish and chip van. Fantastic. Established over 60 years. Dale Brothers of Maidstone. And the Renault Estafette. These little French vans are very popular for catering conversions. And here we've got one cafes, cakes, bakes, and proper cup of tea. One of several original old photographs. This was from the archive on the old classic car website that I also run. This is a Morris based ice cream van for B. Lewis, pure ices in Morecambe. Another little Thames, Anglia, etc. based ice cream van. This one in the livery of Lion's Maid. Down to South Wales, this was in Fishguard, if I remember correctly, in Mark 1 Bedford CF ice cream van. Period photo now of another mini-based mini bar, um, obviously based on a mini pickup from 1964. Hot dogs, king size hamburgers and hot pies. Here is a side view of a Ford and 1000 weight, the E83W. And this is uh, in the livery of original Windermere ice cream. That was back in the 1980s. Another Morris J-Type here. This was at a show quite a few years back now for Grinelli's in Macclesfield. TMB337. Where is that now, I wonder? Goodwood, quite a few years ago. And this uh, wonderful Bedford Fish and Chip Saloon turned up. I believe it's been repainted since this photo was taken. Over to Sandbatch. And a Super Whippy based on another Austin or Morris Leyland FG. Another one of the little Piaggios here, an Ape Caffeine Rush. Another one based on a Mini from 1972, a Mini pickup. Uh, quite a simple design, quite a simple, no frills. Mrs. B's Luxury Ice Cream. This is a mobile-ish coffee uh, vending vehicle uh, based obviously on the old London Routemaster bus. This is a photo I took back in the 1990s, I think probably in Nutsford, and this is a Bedford HA, Staffordshire Registration GEH429N. I wonder where that is now. And this is a Ford-based uh, ice cream van, but in the uh, in the ownership rather of PNC Morris quality ice cream, very nice indeed. I like the sign writing on the back. And to round out this collection of classic ice cream vans and vending vehicles, we've got another long wheelbase Citroen H van, and that was down at Goodwood Revival back in I think 2005 or six. So that was a collection of 50 photos featuring the classic ice cream vans and mobile catering van conversions going back quite a few years. I hope that was of interest. Please check out some of the other videos which relate to classic cars, vans, pickups and lorries on this channel and more videos along very soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.